Schnell, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're blasting Maggot Stomp's Investment Human Altar. Dude, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a fan of classic Cannibal Corpse, meet your new favorite band. Holy shit, this demo fucking rules! It seriously feels like you're getting punched in the face by 90s death metal. It's awesome. And that's what happens when members of Decrepitaf go into the studio regardless of what project those guys are in. Infestment is a two-piece at the time of this recording. And trust me, this right here, Human Altar, fuck yes. One of the best demos Maggot Stomp has ever put out. And I'll stand behind that fucking statement. This is my favorite Maggot Stomp release of 2020. It's when it comes to demos, because I don't want to throw the disembowel full length in there, because then it fucks shit up. But I love the disembowel full length. Echoes of Terror? Fuck yeah. But when it comes to demos, Infestment Human Altar is just everything you could ask for when it comes to just that classic death metal sound. It's fucking dialed. And when it comes to Decrepitaf, just go look at how many other bands those guys have. From Golgotha to Father Befoud to fucking Encoffinized. It's insane how many other projects these guys are in. It's fucking great though. But today we're going to be going over Transylvanian tapes. Tazam Panteli. Talamanali. Fuck. Yes, I probably butchered that title, but this right here is one of my favorite releases of 2020. Now, I don't know if this is considered a demo, but to me, this is an EP. It, it's it's too good to be a demo. Like, it's ser it seriously is. And right before making this video, I got a message on Gmail that Tisloman Pantelli have some extra copies of Telemanali available on cassette still, so you don't have to wait for a second pressing of this bad boy. And all four songs of this absolute essential slab of death doom metal are available on cassette still, but Transylvania tapes are sold out, but the band does have copies on their band camp. So if you are interested in one of the best Death Doom releases I've heard since I first heard Spectral Voice, and I'm not even remotely over exaggerating, this right here is so fucking good. Tislo Mapantelli Talamanali is a goddamn legit A fucking plus when it comes to not only a four track release, but just when it comes to the tunes in general written by Big. Having this being a one-man project and having this being dedicated to the native peoples and tribes from North and South indigenous people, at first I legit thought like, holy shit, Black Twilight Circle started like a death metal band and they got picked up by Transylvania Tapes. Like, fuck yeah, James. And then I did a little bit of research and I found out like, oh shit, this big dude, and I don't know if it's Big O, because you know how Sun has the... The way Sun spells their name, some people call it Sun-O. I always just, 
it's son to me, so I'm just calling Big, Big. But as you can see, he has the son symbol after his name, so I don't know how he wants to say it, but he also recorded and mixed this bad boy as well as play every fucking instrument on it and play every instrument beyond well. Like, especially some of the more indigenous instruments. Because this has guitars, bass. I didn't even know the drums were programmed until I read the J card. But it has programmed drums, vocals, didgeridoo, animal flutes, shells. What the fuck? You know right there you're in for a fucking treat as one of the main bands that sorry Tislo Pantanelli get influence from happen to be the mighty Australian disembowelment and like I was saying this is legit the best slab of death doom metal with funeral elements that I've heard since I first heard Spectral Voice and the Necrotic Doom demo. I'm not even fucking fronting or kissing ass anything like that. This is something that doesn't come around so often and it's a release that just even though I'm not, you know, Latin American and I don't have that cultural background like I understand like where this comes from because I look at bands that you know are part of the Black Twilight Circle and they have like a war division and then you have a band like Volhan that's like kind of like the panopticon of the bunch they're more you know in the nature side of things where a band like Blue Hummingbird on the left are on the war side of things. One second. Want to flip sides because this demo fucking rules. But back to talking about Tislo Man Pantelelli. I'm sorry I keep butchering this name, but this is just so fucking good. Oh my god. Like, Talamanali is one of those releases that legit, it doesn't come around that often, and it's so fucking good. Everything about this is just so on the money and just so fucking sick, and a lot of it is in a different language, so pardon me being Sergeant Stutter today, but like, these things happen, and... Another thing that's super sick about this is Fred Alvia mastered this. That name should ring a bell if you're a fan of Abysmalist or Unearnment. Fred does Unearnment, and Fred's fucking sick. He definitely knows his death metal. And what I really love most about Tislo Mount Pantelli is their Death Doom Assault. When those funeral doom elements come into play, they never overstay their welcome. They're just there and they add so much atmosphere and emotion to this release that you can't help but just be stoked on this piece of art that Big ended up recording and whatnot and putting out to the public like it's so fucking sick and I'm so proud of somebody like James and Transylvania Tapes for having an ear and having the luck to be able to pick up a project like this before anybody else because I'm sure if any other labels heard this they would have jumped on it in a fucking heartbeat but, like, I didn't even know this had a member of Zazolba in it until someone told me. And that's what's so awesome about a label like Transylvania Tapes. They're not trying to just use buzzwords and try and just get people from outside the underground 
to come and check this band out. Like, people from the hardcore scene definitely are going to check this out because it has that connection to Zazalba. And their latest recording on Southern Lord, holy cow. Like, I haven't heard a modern hardcore record since... Uh, I Am King by Code Orange. After they became... They dropped the kids from their name. That was legit the last hardcore record I sat down and listened to front to back. And some people won't even consider that a hardcore record. But to me, that's a hardcore record. And it was fucking great. It was enjoyable. It was heavy as fuck. It had some Nine Inch Nails influences that really reminded me of like 1995 hardcore and that's a tale for a different day. But I think it's so fucking sick, like, especially when you can hear the didgeridoo, you can hear the animal flutes and animal shells being played. It's like, dude, what the fuck? I want to take some ayahuasca and blast this fucker to the moon. Like, the artwork is absolutely so fucking sick. From the temple with this just giant pile of fucking... To quote fetid, this sentient pile of anamorphous rot. That kind of goes to show, you know, like, if you look into the history and whatnot behind some of these tribes and stuff, you know... The genocide and just overall fucked up shit that happened to these tribes. It is fucked up. It seriously is. Like, and just do a little bit of history on, like, some of, you know, the indigenous tribes of, like, Latin America and stuff and Mexico, and you'll see just. It, it was butchery, and it was fucking gnarly and shitty, and it, it's just, it's a shame to see these cultures and thousands of thousands of years just gone, and I understand why parts of this sound so fucking pissed off, but then there's other parts that just legit take you on a fucking journey and that's what makes this release so fucking sick like track one just gets you into it I can't even remotely pronounce this so I'm just gonna show you real quick yeah track one is a very awesome gateway and then once you open that gateway you're in for a fucking death doom treat Especially when those funeral passages come in. But then the title track of this release, Tala Manali, kicks in into Talicho Tanalith 1 and Part 2, which makes up the final track. Holy shit, just absolutely amazing stuff here. Fallen enemies, obsidian blade tears through, pulsing heart, headless vessel, behold the offering, pale flesh stained red, rack of skulls. I'm pretty sure that's actually what Talamanelli means. Yeah, Talamanelli the offering. It's like an altar of skulls. That's the one thing I've like memorized about this. But, yeah. Fucking absolutely grade A death doom metal with funeral elements. And also, if you're a fan of the Black Twilight Circle, you are going to love this. And definitely fucking hails to James at Transylvania Tapes for throwing this my way. And like I said, the band does have a couple copies of this left on their band camp. Tislo Pantelli Tala Manali EP A fucking plus. Seriously, this is so fucking good. 
if you're a fan of Death Doom Metal, I, I can't recommend anything else in 2020. Even full length wise, this is the best slab of Death Doom Metal I've heard. Like I said, legitimately since Spectral Voice Necrotic Doom. Fuck yes. Get in the Tislo Pantelli Talamanali on Transylvania Tapes. I'll put the links below. And hopefully, if you're interested, you can grab a copy off the band. And hopefully, Transylvania Tapes does a second pressing. Not really sure, but grab a copy off the band in the meantime. So fucking sick. Tislo Pantelli Tala Manali EP on the mighty Transylvania Tapes. And we were blasting Infestment. Human Altar on Maggot Stomp. Like I said, if you're a fan of classic Cannibal Corpse, this is some essential fucking death metal on Maggot Stomp. Get into it. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hey,